Hi guys, I'm so sorry that my voice sounds weird and that I'm a little bit out of breath. I do have a chest infection at the moment, which is making voiceovers a little bit difficult, but I was desperate to do the voiceover for this video for you so you can finally see my office slash craft room space in my new house. This has been um, not finished because it's still not finished. As you can see, I don't have a blind or anything, but this has been sort of usable for a long time now and I haven't had a chance to show it to you. So here we go. This is my craft room. As you can see, I have my bookshelves over in that corner. I have my um, big tall bookshelf with my cameras and my planners. And then there's a little sneaky peek of my Kallax unit over there. Um, so yes, let's show you around. So first of all, we have my desk. And my desk is actually a dining room table from Ikea. It's just a huge white table. I think it cost me about £30. Um, and also, as you can see, I don't have a proper desk chair yet. Um, that's an old kitchen chair <laughs> uh, covered in paint. But eventually I will have a proper chair. Um, so excuse my bin but down by uh, my chair I have my scrapbook kits. I have stock for my Etsy shop. I have this little table with my silhouette portrait. And then on my desk I have all of my most used tools. And um, when I filmed this I had a project on my desk. So I just gave you a little close up of that and left that as it was, um, I was using the Like Forever Woodland kit, which um, I am absolutely loving. I love all their kits. Um, I have this little tray with, again, some of my most used uh, bits that I reach for. Uh, there's some inks there and some embellishments and paper clips and everything in little uh, trays which is nice and easy to reach. And then I have this, it's not a cake stand, I got it from Ikea. I can't remember what they actually advertised it for, but I love it. I put all of my little ephemera bits in there. And then on my windowsill, I have a certificate of Archie's, a radio, this beautiful print of a bunny, and my little bunny collection. This is my Rascog cart. I feel like every crafter needs a Rascog cart or something similar. Um, they don't actually make this colour anymore, it's discontinued. But I bought it last year and it is one of the best things I've ever bought for my crafting. So in this top tray I have um, mainly things that I use for Project Life. There's a little thing of stamps to the left. Um, my fuse tool and my heat gun are in that little pot in the front. And then in the back I have lots of um, stickers, enamel dots, letter stickers, all that sort of thing that I use purely for Project Life really. Then in the bottom tray is stuff that I reach for less often. So I have a big thing of Project Life cards. I have a little uh, really useful box down in the bottom there that has lots of wood veneer and things like that in it. That's probably the thing that I use most out of this tray. And then um, that big long bucket type <laughs> uh, container has all my punches in and hole punches and spare scissors and just random tools. This is the bottom tray and I have a little tub of all my mixed media stuff down the bottom so I've got watercolours, another heat gun, embossing stuff, um, what's it called, gesso, uh, modelling paste, all that sort of stuff is in that bottom tray and then I have a basket of 6x6 six six paper pads and some little tubs of different embellishments. Again, things that I don't reach for as often but I do still like to have on hand if I need them. Next, we move on to my bookshelves which are always very popular on Instagram. I wasn't going to go into masses of detail with my bookshelves but you know what, I love them so much I figured I would just show them off to you. Um, they're kind of a feature of the room. I decorate them with all sorts of things as well as obviously the books themselves are very pretty. Um, so I have my classics shelves. These ones are hard covers or cloth bound editions. Um, have a little Funko Pop there. These ones are paperbacks and my puffin classics. Then I've got Barnes and Noble leather bound editions. And some paperbacks in there as well. And then we go on to just my normal paperbacks. So these are all different kinds of genres. Um, they're just paperbacks. 
mainly, and they're all mixed in. Some of them are roughly organised by colour. Um, they used to be organised by colour, but um, I ended up having too many books and I didn't have the space. So they're kind of organised by colour. That's my Game of Thrones shelf. Um, I've read all of the Game of Thrones books and I love them and I'm waiting very impatiently for the next one. Um, but they have their own dedicated shelf because I've got a couple of editions of some of them. My little Funko Pops there too. This is Harry Potter shelf number one. <laughs> uh, then we have Harry Potter shelf number two. Um, <laughs> then Harry Potter shelf number three. And finally... Harry Potter shelf number four. <laughs> I have lots and lots of editions of Harry Potter. Down the bottom I have an Alice in Wonderland shelf. And then we move on to my next set of shelves, which are mainly hardcover books. Um, again, there's no real rhyme or reason to how these are organised. Some of them are organised roughly by colour, but it really bothers me to split up series. So even if a series isn't the same colour, I keep it together because it would stress me out if it wasn't together. Thankfully, most publishers can appreciate that people like their books to match. So thankfully, most of the series match. That's my series of unfortunate events there. And then I have more series down here, but these are paperbacks. And then that is my last shelf, which again is series, trilogies, duologies, and my Rainbow Rowl books. And Rainbow Rowl is one of my favourite authors. So here we have my Calax unit, which has all of my uh, 12 by 12 scrapbooks and extra scrapbook supplies and all sorts of stuff. And um, it also has Winnie's Crate next to it which won't be there forever but that is where she sleeps because if we don't put her in a crate to sleep she wrecks the joint <laughs> um so yeah here you can see my scrapbooks i don't really go into detail um in this video because my lights were playing up and it kept flashing on everything but you can see i just store um my scrapbooks in here and then i have these boxes which have um lots of art supplies craft supplies planner bits and bobs uh, I've got colouring books in there, colouring pens, all that jazz. Um, the shelf to the left, I did have a close-up of that, but it corrupted. So I thought I would show you that in a separate video and show you my planner collection in a separate video as well. Um, but I really hope you've enjoyed having a little look at my office space. If anything changes, I will be sure to let you know and show you again. Um, I've really loved finally being able to show it to you. Um, eventually I'll have a blind and a nice chair and all that jazz. But for now, it's perfect for what I wanted. And I've, I'm so excited and so lucky to have such a lovely office. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.